Hello miners, Rusty coming at you. Today we're going to take a look at a knife I picked up on eBay. I've been spending a lot of time on eBay picking up traditional knives and collectible knives. And this one comes to us from CRKT. And it looks like it was released, oh let's see, seven, eight years ago. It would be about 2015, 2016 in there. One of the things that attracted this knife to me was the designer. And this is a Jesper Voxnays. Maybe you guys know Jesper. It's called the M Amicus, which I believe stands for um, Companion. I think it has a number like 5441. I won't be able to read that. You guys, if you know CRKT knives, you probably know this frame from another knife. And if you know Jasper, or Jasper, uh, you probably know, you see his, what we'll call design language in here. So I like this. We got a compound grind Tonto. That's a hollow grind right through here. It's going to be 8CR 13 MOV. Got a flat grind right out there, which makes it a little bit thicker on that edge. Got a nice drop point, kind of a swedge coming out to that tip. And pretty good size blade stock. So it's not going to be really extremely pointy tip, but it's going to be enough. We have some G10 in here and a lanyard that's jimped and proud and looks like a lanyard. And my lanyard. So that's one thing you don't know when you're buying them off of eBay. Uh, someone used this lanyard, I would say, as a hammer. So it's a frame lock. And let's take a peek at our lock up. It's a little bit late and it's not exactly the best to get to but it's I've had worse uh, it's running on nylon washers let's try that again it has a small flipper tab or a little uh, thumb hole if you will but I can finger flick it with a little bit of practice and thumb lies well you just saw right there it do need a little wrist flick ergos are pretty decent uh, I do feel the clip, but the shape and the size and the lockup is solid. And I did cut a piece of cardboard and it is, it went right through there. Just, just really excellent. Um, <clears throat> I did a little touch up on the blade. This is how it came. And uh, I wouldn't say it's got any hard use on it. And it actually... Cleans up pretty well. I think I paid about $28 on the bid. And these were selling for $30 plus dollars when they came out. And even my first CRKT knife, well maybe not my exact first, but my experience with Jesper is the Pilar. And that's the same designer. Like I said, maybe you can see uh, some similarities in the design. We've got frame lock, we've got the uh, tip down or tip up carry. This has an aluminum backspacer just like that one. And we've got the top swedge leading to the point. CRKT. This was a popular knife and they then went through the CRKT pillar, uh, pillar and then they went with what? Maybe the Three, four, or five. I don't remember what the two was. If they actually called it the pillar two or the large pillar. Uh, so you can kind of see this one came before this one. And to keep going, maybe you guys are familiar with the CRKT. Pete. Uh, Pete, they want to call it um, aluminum. Backspacer and FRN handles uh, both sides. We have an inset steel liner and of course a Jesper Voxnays design. And he does a nice job. I really like the way his um, blade geometry is. What I really don't like is 
Yeah, the way it's set up, uh, I would have liked to seen this knife in this size, maybe a little bit bigger thumb hole. Uh, and that would have been a pretty sweet deal. And then I missed out on buying. I wasn't really impressed. I think it's because I'm not exactly happy all the time with CRKT uh, for the simple reason of, you know, let's get a little cutout right there. Uh, you guys are seeing the action on this. Maybe that's Jesper's fault, uh, but the, the nylon or Teflon uh, washers are partly good. They're gonna be easy to keep clean. Uh, but for example, like this one, uh, on that one, it should have better action. Now I might take it apart. I did try to take out a screw and what I have is I need two screws, uh, two torque screws because they, once you spin one side, it just rolls on the other side. And geez, I hate that, but uh, might take it apart, clean it up some, see what those washers are looking like and kind of go from there but hey guys i'm rambling um this is a little bit of crkt they got the 8cr 13 mov steel uh this is a jesper vox days i think some just call them vox designs and i like his knives and they're kind of he's done some work with um jen's anzo and I like his too. And Jens does a lot of Giant Mouse, as does Jesper. And I think they collabed on a knife, a Giant Mouse knife. But um, hey, I got another knife I'm going to bring out. What do we call it? Just for poops and giggles. Um, so this one reminds me, but this is, remember, this is about eight years old. Uh, and this would be my Spider Co. And it's just, just having that. Placement of that hole and the size of the hole. Uh, and this one, remember, also running on just a single um, washer. And then it runs on the FRN on one side. So I think the washer's on this side. I don't remember uh, if it's nylon or brass. But anybody who's had a spider co can appreciate the deployment. Yep. And to be fair, I've been deploying that one a lot more. <laughs> there we go. And that's what we're looking at. But, you know, we're talking $100 more uh, for this knife. So, hey guys, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for hanging with me.